So in order for us to be able to use the album and band entities, we need to be, of course, able to query the database. And we will do that using repository pattern. That means that we will have an interface that will be our contract and contain all the methods that we will need. And we will have the repository implementation, which will be basically the class where all the querying of the database will take place. So I'm going to create another folder called services. And here I will create the repository, but it's going to be just a class for now. So it's going to be called I band album repository. But since I want this to be an interface and not a class, I'm going to replace the word class with interface. So what we will need here are the methods that we want to implement. So first, we will want the API to be able to get us some data. So we can start with getting the albums for each of the bands. So we will return I enumerable of type album. And I'll call it get albums. And here we will get the albums based on the bands. So we will return albums for each individual bands. Therefore, we need to pass in the GUID or the ID of the band. So it's going to be the band ID. And you can see album is underlined because we need to import the namespace, which is in the entities folder. The next, I will want an album of an individual band. So single album, not all albums for the band, but just a single album. So we will return an album and I'll call it get album. And in order for us to get the album, we need to know the ID of the band the album belongs to. So we will pass in GUID band ID. And we need the ID of the album that we are looking for. So it's going to be another GUID and I'll call this album ID. Next, we also need to be able to perform CRUD operations for albums as well as the bands. So we will need to be able to add, update and delete albums and bands. So we'll add support for that. So it's going to be void add album. And here we need to pass in the band ID this album is going to belong to. So it's going to be a GUID band ID. And then we need to pass the actual album to it. So it's going to be the album and I'll call it album. So album will contain the information for the album we are adding and band ID will be the ID of the band this album belongs to. Next we have the update for the album. So it's going to be another void update album. And here we will simply pass the album that we are updating. And of course, we need to be able to delete album as well. So it's going to be void delete album. And again, we'll simply pass the album that we are deleting. So this is really all for our albums. Next, let's do our bands. So the first, we need to get all the bands. So we need to be able to get I enumerable of type band. And I'll call it get bands. And we don't pass anything because we'll simply get a list of all bands available in our database. Next, I want to be able to get a single band. So we'll return a band and I'll call it get band. And here we will pass the GUID of the band that we are looking for. So it's going to be GUID of band ID. Next, I want to be able to get specific bands, not just one band, but specific bands that the user is searching for. So we will return I enumerable and it's going to be, of course, of type band and I'll call it get bands. But instead of just getting all the bands, we want specific bands. So we will pass in all the goods of the bands that we are looking for. So we'll pass I enumerable of type GUID into it. And this is going to be the band IDs. 
And just like with the albums, we want to be able to do the CRUD operations on the bands. So we'll have void and this is going to be add band and we will pass the band to it. So this is the information that's going to be entered when we create new band. We'll do something similar for updating the band. So it's going to be void update band. And again, we are passing the band to it. Then we have the delete band. So it's going to be void delete band. And as you can guess, we'll pass the band class to it. And there's two special methods that I want to add here. And that is to check if the band exists. So it will return a boolean whether the band exists or not. So it's going to be a boolean called band exists. And here we will pass the GUID of the band that we are looking for. So it's going to be the band ID. And additionally, I want a method that will be used to save the information. Once we add the data to the DB context, we still need to perform the actual save into the database. And that's when I want to call this method. It's going to be a Boolean, so it will return whether the saving was successful or not. So it's going to be a Boolean called save. And because I'm checking if the band exists, I can also add a Boolean if the album exists. And here we will pass the GUID for the album ID. So this is enough for now and if we need anything we will add to it later. So this is our interface and now we need a repository that implements each of these methods. So let's do that next.